Alrighty, hello guys, so I can be faces back to another Stormwork Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually continuing on with this little craft right here. As you guys can see, it is looking pretty weird. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty strange. However, it is actually working as intended, which is awesome. Uh, so today, let's go ahead and put in some propellers, and we'll actually get this thing moving uh, in the water as well. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so how do we actually want to go about doing this? I'm not entirely sure. I, I really don't know, actually. Uh, we're going to go ahead and seal those up like that, which is perfect. Uh, and then I think we can either drag ourselves from the front or we can push ourselves from the back. Now I'm thinking we push ourselves from the back about here. Uh, however, that is our fuel tank, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of an issue if we do this. Except, actually it's not. Maybe, maybe it's going to be fine, actually. Alright, so, uh, if we literally grab one of these and we put it there, we can then grab ourselves a propeller, uh, and we can put it in the bottom right here, just like this. There we go, that's awesome. Uh, and then we can actually probably fit a motor directly to this, and that'll be fine. Actually, delete this, and we need a gearbox in there as well. Alright, here we go. Gearbox, let's do this! Alright, so there might be a problem here. Uh, it might just be that it opens up the entire um, vehicle, uh, to the outside and if we do that that's not gonna be good <laughs> But let's go ahead and see if this works. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this directly up to Oh god, uh up and down. There we go. And that is it. That's actually it. All right, good Go ahead and click on this make it two by two to one two to one. There we go Uh, are these guys two to one as well or are these guys? Oh, there we go two to one blaze and two to one there we go, alright, awesome. So now let's see if this works. Okie dokie, so we're running over, we're gonna go ahead and jump on board, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and start our little engine thingamabobby, there we go. That's pretty awesome, it is running, go! Alright, so now we're moving, that's pretty epic. Pretty epic, alright, I would love to go a little bit faster than this, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. It's not meant to be like a, a ground vehicle, let's say. Uh, it's meant to be so, sort of like a beaching vehicle, so that's okay. Alright, so I actually have a feeling that as soon as we drive into the water, we are actually going to sink. Because um, I don't think it's actually sealed in properly in here. And uh, because of that, I don't think it's going to work too well. But let's go ahead and see if it works anyway. We're going to drive down the hill, straight into the water, and we are going to be good. Alright, let's do this. Here we go, we're going to drive straight down. We need to figure out if we can actually get out of the water as well. Because honestly, if we can't get out of the water, then what's the point? But, um, there we go. Alright, so, we can sail straight down into the water. If we go straight under... <laughs> yeah, that is an issue. <laughs> that is definitely an issue. Okay, so, the reason it sinks is because the propeller, or this bit on the bottom, uh, this bit right here isn't actually sealed. So what we need to do is delete this and this. We need to get a pipe. Alright, okay. Oh, no, wait. This won't really work the way that I want it to. Okay, so we got to bring it all the way forwards. Oh, God, no. No, that doesn't work either. What do I do? What do I do? Delete this. Alright, put this back. Bam, bam. Delete this one. Put these in. Put this guy right on here. Like so. Alright, so how do we do this? I'm not entirely sure. I really don't know. Uh, I feel like if we have the propellers in the middle... That would suck. Like, it wouldn't work too well. But if you have the propellers here, then maybe it would. Alright, so, propeller. Let's do this. Alright, we'll have two. So, this will go here like this. Alright, it will work. That's okay. We'll then have a pipe. Alright, which is angled. So, it'll bring it upwards. Uh, from the right side, please. That would be great. Let's see if that's in the right place. Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Uh, we need to then seal this bit off right here. That's awesome. Uh, delete that put that in. Actually, wait. What the heck? What the heck and heck? Alright, we just have to put that there. That's good. Um, actually, that could come back. It, it can come back. There we go. That's fine. Right, gearbox. Yes. Okay, just like this. And motor. And that is, that is all. Alright, very good. Let's go and connect these together. That together. Connect this to here. Connect this to here. And then uh, these can actually go up to here. Oh, you know what? They could work like tank tracks too. It totally could. I'm going to grab another one of these. Alright, so this is our tank track thingamabobby. Uh, if, if we have, like, the right motor, which is this one, 
We have the left motor, which is this one. We then have W and S, which is going to be up and down. And then we have left and right, which is going to be A and D. Um, there we go. That should work as an actual tank now. That's kind of interesting. All right, do this to three to two. Do this to three to two. We'll actually remove these or bring them down to three to two. Because I think that's a little bit more effective. There we go. All right, let's do this. Okie dokie, start your engines. There we go. Engines have been started. Very good. All right, let's get in. Let's go. Okie dokie, we are really, really close now to getting back in the water again. So let's just keep driving. There we go. Uh, we can actually see the back of the propellers if you guys look very closely. You can see bits of propellers right there. But um, yeah, we're actually going to get into the water this time. And presumably, we're actually going to start floating. Are we? Are we going to float this time? Yes. All right, epic. And now we put our propellers on. And we are moving. All right, perfect. We can actually turn as well, presumably. Yes, we can. That's awesome. Uh, and yeah, that's actually great. Nice. So yeah, it does actually move along, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really, really proud of this. This is good. This is very, very good. Okay, so now we have to figure out if it can actually get back onto the uh, onto the land, shall we? So let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. There we go. We don't need any um, any rudders for this as well, which is perfect. And it is actually extremely stable doing this too. That's amazing. That's actually super cool. Also, if we run out of power, we can literally just stop the engines or stop the motors. Uh, we can wait here for a second and then we can get going again and we'll charge up. That's amazing. But no, we do actually want to go ahead and get back on the beach straight away. So let's just uh, ram it up the beach and hopefully uh, we'll have enough power to actually get up onto the beach and drive away. That is, that is what I want to do. I don't know whether it'll allow it to happen because the tracks start literally so far back. It's kind of unreal, but here we go. We're getting very close. Uh, and we'll just start driving up as soon as we get there, hopefully. Here we go. So we're relying on it to actually push us up out of the water a little bit. All right, there we go. And now we can just drive. That's perfect. It works. <laughs> it totally works. If we can get the gear ratios right, that'd be awesome. Uh, but no, this is actually fine. Oh, we're going to get stuck here, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Oh, yes. Tiny little obstacles that can get over too. That's amazing. All right. So I figured that now that we've got both of them working, what I want to do is I want to make the deck look a little bit nicer. So we're actually going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this. We're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, we're going to do this all the way backwards, pretty much, until we have to go back out. One, two, three, four. One, uh, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Very good. All right, and I'm going to do this until all of the deck is covered and looks beautiful. So there we go. That is actually looking fantastic so far. That's awesome. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And there we go. That is literally all that needs doing. That's great. That'll make it look so much better. All right, so now we actually need some dials in here as well. I am thinking we literally just put them in the roof. So we're going to go ahead and get a dial. Here we go. We're going to make it white for now, and we'll just put it in just like this. So one there, one there, one there. And we'll actually attach that together. There we go. We'll have a light in here as well. So let's go ahead and put a light in. Here we go. A light. Thank you. And we'll whack that. Oh, we can't. We can't put that there. We can put it on the back like this. And I suppose that's A-OK -okay, because... It will provide enough light for all of us. Okay, very good. We're then going to make that cream. Bam! Actually, brown. There we go. We're going to make it brown. It's more cozy if it's brown. So, so there you go. That's good. All right, attach that straight onto there. Attach this straight down to here. And now we've got electricity for all of them. The middle one is going to be speed. This one is going to be fuel. And this one is going to be battery. Uh, which, you know what? We will be running out of battery really quickly. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we're going to be charging it quick enough. So that is the thing. Uh, we also need a temperature somewhere. Um, but yeah. Speed. Okay, right. Linear speed sensor. Let's go ahead and whack this on here somewhere. Right there. Okay, we don't even need those pieces. So that's good. In fact, delete this guy. Delete this guy. Put it there. Okay, very good. So now this can actually go straight up to there. And that's fine. All right, nice. Yeah, that's actually really, really good. So we got our dials in there. That's awesome. We will need other dials as well. So uh, one thing that I'm thinking of is if we delete the two pieces on the side right here, we get the right color, we can actually get new dials, and we can put them in on the side. So one there, one there, 
One of them can see temperature. And one of them can see RPS. There we go. Or actually, power, power gen. Power gen. There we go. I think that makes sense. All right, attach that to there as well. That's awesome. Uh, the power gen is going to go to the generators. Okay. The temperature is going to go to there. That's awesome. And that's it. Good. All right, so now we actually want them to go on a button. So uh, I think we'll actually delete this in the side. We get ourselves a button, and it's going to be a toggle one. There we go. We're going to whack this in here just like this. We're going to go ahead and paint it, because we should. And that's fine. All right, so this is going to control the light. It's going to control all the backlights. There we go. It's going to control this guy and this guy, and that is it. So this is going to be our lighting. There we go. All right, good. We could probably do with one more of these, actually. All right, one more of these can actually go on top of the engine. There we go. Bit of a weird place to put it, but it works. All right, paint that. Go ahead and paint this. I think that needs painting all the way across the top as well. That's good. And then we'll obviously paint this light at the back brown. And that's it. That's it. Does it have electricity? It's not actually connected to the thing yet. All right, there we go. Give it electricity as well. And that's awesome. All right, spawn it in. Let's go ahead and get it moving forwards again. We'll see what all the lights do. And if they work, that'll be great. All right, jump on board. Go ahead and move it forwards. Turn the lights on. Oh, this button doesn't have... <laughs> this button doesn't have electricity. That's annoying. All right, attach that straight to the battery. Very good. Let's go. And this is what it actually looks like on a night. So if we drive out of the hangar, you guys can see the inside of here, it's lit up a little bit. Our dials are actually lit up, which is good. Uh, our deck is lit up a tiny bit. I didn't want it to be too bright, so that's okay. Uh, and yeah, that works. Actually, totally works. All right, our power generation. Is it good enough? I feel like it is just about good enough for this, to be honest. So that's pretty good. That is actually really, really good. Uh, if we go to the back, we can see our power gen. Is it two point something? That's good. And our temperature's going up. But there you go. Nice. That's perfect. Okay, so a few of you guys actually said that we should totally put a gun on the front. Uh, and honestly, that is a good idea. However, I don't feel like I want a gun on the front. I feel like it's going to be something else. Maybe like a winch or something, so we can actually pull stuff around. Uh, or something like that. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure just yet, anyway. Uh, right, okay, so this is our radiator. That's okay. I am thinking if we delete this, this, and this, we can actually put a winch on both sides, like this winch right here. Uh, we can probably put that right there like that, uh, and that would totally work. Yeah, but I would want it on both sides, so let's delete both. There we go. Go ahead and put this in probably upside down like this, and that's pretty cool. I like it. Okie dokie, so that's all good. We'll leave that just like that. That is awesome. Right, spotlights. Uh, we'll actually attach those onto the top as well. We'll have literally just two of them, and that is a-okay. Oh, we can just have one right in the middle. One looks weird. We'll have two. We'll have two of those right there. That's awesome. Uh, and that is it. All right, cool. Attach that to there. Attach that to there. We'll paint them the right color. In fact, we'll leave them just as they are, to be honest. Uh, we'll attach that to lighting as well. There we go. All right, fantastic. I love it. Oh, okay. That's slightly annoying that the winch does that, but uh, we can actually paint that a little bit probably, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, we've now added some lighting. That's awesome. We've added the propellers to the back, so it does actually swim now, uh, or be amphibious, and that's amazing. That's really good. Okay, so what I want to check now is that it actually floats uh, from like the get-go, if that makes sense. So if we spawn it in right here, does it float straight away? All right, it bobs straight back up, and it is, in fact, floating. All right, there is a little bit of water on board, as you guys can see, but that's okay. All right, so if we put the lighting on, and we go ahead and turn the engine slash the generator on. There we go. That's awesome. It's now working, and now we can go. Let's go. Whee! All right, nice. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, so I think this would be a vehicle that would maybe, like, go out to ships, grab some stuff, put it on the deck, and then take it back to shore, and then maybe drive it into a base. And then, obviously, it would go back out to sea, put the stuff back on, and then back, drive it back. Uh, it could also be a passenger thing as well, so they could actually stand on here, uh, and that would work as well. But, um, not really too sure right now. If it is going to be slightly military-like, uh, I think we'll add some machine guns on the back. Uh, but that would probably be it. I don't think it's going to be armed with anything else. Um, but yeah, I actually really, really like this thing. Um, yeah, nice. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.